Well, folks, look at that. It is the Droid Iris, the HTC Hero for Verizon. We just want to give you a quick look around the device. You can see that it's got some uh, pretty conservative, straightforward styling. There is no Android chin. Um, it's got a nice matte finish, matted paint. We'll take this little sticker off the camera door on the back, give you a better feel for it. Big camera here, uh, little speaker hole, no flash, however. Thankfully, we've got a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, a couple of volume buttons here on the side, a mini, not micro, USB port next to the microphone hole, and nothing over here. If we remove the battery door, you'll see that uh, we've got our micro SD card over here on the side, and it comes with an 8 gig card. This sells for 99 bucks, so it is the quote unquote low end version. So we'll stick that back in there, we'll put the door back on. And then on the front of the phone, you've got your power slash end key, you've got your home key, you've got a nice little trackball, and then you've got your menu keys here. You've got your search, your back, your menu, and your home key. And then, of course, the Sense UI, which gives you lots and lots of screens to play with. It is not running Android 2.0 like the Droid. It's running Android 1.6. But uh, the Sense really helps make up for it. Uh, if you compare it to its brother over at Sprint, which has basically the same specs, uh, you know you can really see um, the differences are, are actually kind of starker than you might expect. Uh, Sprint's got this you know weird area here. They've got physical buttons and a larger trackball, which I suppose is nice. But it is you know does feel just a hair thicker. Um, it's shorter um, and just overall doesn't seem quite as refined as the Iris does. Um, Although one thing I will uh, do find interesting in taking a look at the Iris is that it's actually quite a lot like the old Touch in terms of its stylings. And even the Touch Dual, if you remember that. Just, you know, big screen, some buttons on the bottom, but matted paint all around. Of course, everybody wants to compare it to the Droid, and you can see the two of them next to each other. About the same thickness. The Iris has got a really nice sloping down here in the bottom to make it feel a little bit thinner. Uh, the screen, of course, on the... Uh, on the droid is much much nicer much bigger and just it's great um, and of course the droid has a physical keyboard whereas the iris does not you know you can compare it even to you know the other generation the uh, the my touch 3g here and you can see you know this has still got the chin it's just overall a more refined less bold statement i guess you know, compare it of course to the iphone 3gs everyone is want to do. They're basically the same thickness. I do like the matted paint a little bit better. So the big question of course is do you go with the Iris or do you go with the Droid? And um, you know I gotta say most people are probably gonna want to go with the Droid. The Iris is cheaper and the Sense UI really does make up for the lack of Android 2.0. Um, you know we won't go through a whole big uh, thing on the Sense UI. You can see uh, a big good write-up from that from Casey on his review of the Sprint Hero, and this is virtually unchanged from that. And so there's not a whole lot of additional things to say other than, you know, it's all here. So there you go, a quick walkthrough of the Droid Iris on Verizon. It is available right now if you want to go get it.